one, I hope you're all well. So I have tried to do this read about 10 times and I keep getting obstacle after obstacle. Um, so I feel as though a lot of obstacles have been placed in your way lately as well. Uh, there's a lot of um, completions of cycles and transformation. So wonderful work with that. I'm gonna get straight into it with our long read uh, with the new Buffy deck. So we'll say our prayer as always. Dear God, Holy Spirit and Spirit guides, please help me to give this message to the collective on any clarity and guidance that they may need to know. And we pray in Almighty Jesus' name. Amen. So this is a new deck and it will be the first time I do a long read for you guys with that. So hopefully we get some clarity and things you need to know. They are a bit stiff because they're newer and I haven't... Um, really had a chance to play with them much lately. I feel like there's a very busy energy as well. Like I know myself, I've been extremely busy lately. Just had a lot of things on and by the time you do what you need to throughout the day, the day is gone and yeah, you're on to the next. Do one more cut and then we'll get into the read. do that um what's the sliding about things are sliding into place although it feels like it's not it feels like it's about to fall out of your hands and like you're losing grip things are actually falling into place we have your nine of stakes here so there's been a wide opening within oneself, which would be confirmation, extra confirmation for the transformation that's been taking place. Uh, this is your nine of stakes. And as you can see, with all of the light bursting out of him, there would have been somebody else's hand placed upon you in some sense where something happened, someone may have said something to you or done something, and it made you go into a reflection mode and it made you see yourself in a different light and now you're opening up more and completed out old karmic cycles. There's the Four of Pentacles here, which normally represents a, um, a balance within finance and financial position. Sometimes it can also represent a lacking. I'm getting a lot of confusion with this card. Um, please explain the confusion in the Four of Pentacles. I feel like maybe you're waiting for money to come in or something and you're not sure what's going to happen with that money. But just know that it is sliding. Everything is sliding into place and it's going the way that it's meant to go. Yeah, there's a worry with finance here. What's the guidance on helping with the worry with the finance here, please? Bringing stability to this. Yeah, just uh, keep getting everything is falling into place and it's sliding into place the way it meant, is meant to be. So just give it time. You need to be a little patient with that. There are blockages there also. There's some some form of money blockages there, which maybe is putting you in this lax, lax state of mind where you feel like you don't have enough abundance or money in that sense. Because abundance comes in many different forms. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is a major arcana card as well, and it's the 10th card, which is a completion card also. Just also extra confirmation that everything is going the way it's meant to with the Wheel of Fortune card here. Also got your Knight of Scythe, which represents like your Knight of Swords. So 
I feel like you've embraced the night energy where you're actually opening up and telling your truth. Although this is a feminine in this card, um, it doesn't always necessarily mean feminine, you know, because we all have male and feminine, masculine and feminine energy. You've found a light within yourself and it's given you, with her holding the light here and the pillar of strength, it's given you a new foundation of strength within yourself you king of chalices is in reverse i feel as though you you kind of always really relied on somebody else's opinion um a masculine an older masculine's opinion for direction and guidance on what the choices you should make and where you should go and although their guidance is wonderful with that in reverse you're starting to think for yourself now five 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 on the time stamp <laughs> completion with change five 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 um so you've completed out that cycle where you need to rely on somebody else for that guidance you're finding that guidance within yourself and it's putting you into that night mode And it, something spoke to you very loudly. It was very loud. And since you heard that with this here, that also helped you to find your light and to hold your light and embrace your light and embrace yourself to step away from this. Not so much like step away where you don't have anything to do with them. I just mean step away in the sense that you can stand for yourself, you can think for yourself, you won't have to always ask God. It's not that you wouldn't sometimes ask guidance i don't mean that i just mean you don't rely on their guidance if that makes sense the cards are very slippery i feel like you're losing grasp of something when you need to not worry everything is falling into place the way it's meant to be i need to do another split because they're a bit i don't know what the word is a bit Please tell me anything that the collective needs to know moving forward. The star in reverse. You're starting to see yourself as that star now. I don't feel like you've really seen yourself as the shining bright star that you are. And you're actually coming to see that now. You're coming into your own and letting go of those past cycles, those past demons, past ways, bringing you into a new person, a new being, a new transformation, and holding your own self in high regard. And it's not always easy to do that when you haven't always had um, self-confidence and self-esteem and everything like that. So it's really hard to get to that point and see yourself in that light. So well done for doing that because that is not always easy. And you're coming into that energy now. You're starting to embody that energy. Well, that's a lot of cards. I'm not taking all of them. My God, that's so many. I'll take the top one. The Justice. So we've got your Justice card here. This is your Justice that you come into your own and into your star energy. And... <laughs> feel like fumbling kind of thing you're not fumbling this is justice within itself and you're coming to see that can you give me one or two cards not that many cards again please and anything else the collector may need to know closing out this reading please just keep the faith and keep praying i'm always praying that's my go-to feel like maybe that's your go-to now as well. you found a different outlet of relief. Lover's card in reverse here. May have been something, an old lover.